It's 5.45 a.m. July 15th, 2018. I'm at the barricades. I decided to come down here and take a gander. Um, man, I wish that thing would focus. The volume has picked up substantially. Once again. Oh, boy. Let's see here. That didn't work. I know it just looks like a big red blob. Um, I wonder if there was a collapse up at the summit. My guess is that yes, there probably was. I was hoping I'd meet the USGS up here, but I think they're parked way down there. Be interesting to see if there's any reports of um, breakouts from this. I'm going to back it off so I can take a still. Pretty. Well, it's pretty, but it's incredible. Changes all the time, doesn't it? Um. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Yeah, look at how bright it is out here. And that's... Eh. Yeah. We don't have many street lights in Hawaii. But all that is a reflection of the glow. Why am I still... Sorry, well that's the problem. Doi. Man, oh man, what do you say? What can you say? this crazy event. Oh, man. I think you can see in the lower 
well the lower part to the left that how it's changing the volume of the river by that little lump that's going up and down um, just yesterday it wasn't nearly that high well when I saw it so if we stick around here for I don't know another hour 30 minutes or so it may change again and reduce the volume Oh, um, let me, uh, one moment, please. Oh. Okay, um, let me get down from the barricade. That's what I was standing on. Oh, I do have a flashlight. Um, so again, Robert Christ made this great design with a picture of these barricades on top of the word barricade. It's pretty cool. You can find those on the uh, Redbubble site. Um, I was down here a couple days ago and I gave a bunch of them away to the people who were um, waiting to get in to check on their properties. So that was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Oops. Wow. Oh, good. Rain. All right, that's all I have. Hard to pull away though. Even with the rain, it shouldn't last long. Yep, that's all I have. Enjoy your day, aloha. Just as I was leaving, uh, the volume picked up some more. Things are jumping. Here comes a car. Well, it's not like you're going to run me down, <laughs> unless you plan on going through this thing. That is more intense than it's been in a long time. Yeah, I know it. I mean, I was just getting ready to leave, and I turned and looked, and it had uh, volume increased even more. There was a 5.2 um, collapse up at the summit about an hour ago. Okay. And there's a correlation. Yep. About an hour and a half that surges. Yep. They just sent a drone up. I just saw it up there. 
So is that what brought you down here? No, I was actually I'm heading up to Pologu oh, gotcha. Valley to go hiking. And oh, that's as awesome. I was turning off of Alatai, I looked down here and I was like, that's <laughs> more than normal. <laughs> <laughs> Do you live here? Yeah, top of Kahukai. That's uh, an interesting two and a half months. <laughs> what is it, 78 days? I don't know how many days, but it, it was May 3rd was the first fisher. So you live on that side? I'll, I'll apply on this side. So oh. Like so one block up and over there. So no worries. At, at the moment, as long as it doesn't move, yeah, we're okay. Yeah, well, you're up high enough in elevation. I don't think you have anything well, to worry if, about. Well, if like Fisher 12, like if any, uh, like if this ever gets blocked oh. up for some reason and yeah. one of the upper fissures open again, then that that could that could pose a problem. Could. But I mean, with the volume that's coming out here, like I don't, it would take a big shift. You have any um, dead vegetation? Uh, grass is turning a little brown. Yeah. Um, you can see a little bit of strain on like tea. Yeah. Um, coconuts, the fronds are kind of yep. dying Same sooner than place. normal, but they're still mostly green. Do you have any guava? Uh -uh. All my guava stripped, totally bare. Really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, when this first started, I used to hike all the way down there before they. Oh yeah, of course. Barricades up. We all did. Yeah. And now they're I've treating done us it like a children. A couple times, like around, like actually around four o'clock in the morning, I'll come down. Uh, but I haven't done that in like two or three weeks. I talked to, um, I think it was DLNR guy the other day, and he said they got two people in here uh, last week, find them. Um, he said, I asked him, well, how'd they get in? He said they came in through Nanavali, through Lava Tree Park, through the woods, <laughs> and he said they were all cut up. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, um, there have been times where, like, if, if a car would drive by when I'm down there, I'd like, jump into oh, yeah. the woods and just yeah. hide for a second. And then there was one time I went down there behind this barricade, and there was a cop with his family down at the end of it. And I went in and talked to the USGS uh, scientist people, and so the police officer didn't say anything well, to me because he, he had his He couldn't family say anything, yeah. <laughs> well, that's, you know what? I think that's awesome that he didn't bother you because he knew that he was, can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those USGS guys are awesome to yeah, talk to. Yeah, it's been fascinating to talk to them. Awesome. Well, you have a good day. You have a good hike, man. Thanks. Be careful. Hope you guys caught that. Um, apparently about an hour or so ago there was a collapse up there. So that's what caused this to surge. Alright. That's all I got. Just crazy. Uh, if you want to see some stills, I'm gonna put these up on Smug Mug. Uh, I'm not saying that so you'll purchase them. I'm saying that if you want to see them, pretty awesome. It'd be cool if you purchased them, of course. All right, I'm off. Aloha.